Hello, this is Brickmaster5987 here today to bring you LEGO Star Wars The Death Star. This has been a long-awaited review and I'm going to review it because it's been the one year anniversary of my LEGO channel and I'm excited as hell to review it. So, the recommended ages are 14. Package number is 10188. Name of the set? Hmm, let me guess. Death Star. And the pieces in the set? 3,803. 3, so we'll get on with the mini pigs, and then the close up, then my thoughts. Hey, it's Brickmaster, and now we'll get on with the mini pigs. First one you get is the Lego Mouse Droid. So there's nothing really to show there. Second, you get an exclusive black R2 Droid. Come on, zoom in, it's not that hot. Yet, there we go. Pretty basic. Next, you get is an updated version of R2D2. Yeah. Oh, crap. Sorry about that. Yeah. Now you get pretty much a stormtrooper. You know what all stormtroopers look like. And then Chewbacca. Then a black version of C-3PO. Yeah. Oh. Then you get C three PO. The old version, not the new one from the uh droid escape that I reviewed. Then a interrogation droid exclusive to this set. And most of these characters in the set are exclusive. Then you get this other droid. Yeah, I don't know what he does, but they just added him. Then you get Han Solo in Stormtrooper outfit. Yeah. And he's also exclusive, exclusive to this set, but he's very easy to make, so yeah. Then you get the updated version of Han Solo, the 2011 and 12 version and no back printing. Then you get a trooper, uh, a trooper, not sure what they're called, but yeah that's what he looks like. Wait, did he focus? Yeah, that's what he looks like. And the back is blank. Now you get one of Dark Vader's most famous uh, generals, I think they call them. Yeah, I'm not sure what his name is. Next you get is another exclusive, the Tracked Compactor Droid. Like him a lot. Then you get Ben Kenobi. Yeah, there he is. Fish Jedi and Cave. Now you get two of these, the Red Ninja Dudes. Sorry, I'm not sure what their names are. Now you get everyone's favourite, Emperor, with his lightning, uh, yeah, his lightning, force, force lightning, whatever. Now to the Skywalkers, the last ones. Princess Leia, no back printing. Dark Vader, very ordinary but still an awesome minifig. Luke Skywalker as a Stormtrooper. Luke Skywalker as the Tatooine version. Then the final one, but not least, is Luke Skywalker Jedi version. Oh, that doesn't have back printing. That does, but yeah, this doesn't as well. Now we'll get on with the whole set. 
we'll get on with the close up now. So the first floor is just pretty much a basement with nothing than crates, really. And now to the second one. So these are more detailed rooms. Like if that was it for this much money, it's ridiculous. So in this room, you got a little elevator that goes up to the next floor and you can wind down. Yeah. And it's got a crane, a ladder that goes up to here, an elevator shaft, huh? crates, and a mini ladder. And if you can hear a dog barking, please annoy it. I'm filming this in my old area. Now, you get a laser, no, a cannon. And if you're a Star Wars clone Wars fan and you like building big giant armies, you should put this in it and I'll shoot it at the camera. Yeah, so it just works, it's perfect. Next, we have the trash compactor room and it comes with the characters, uh, the trash compactor robot and the stick that they put and you can squeeze it from here to go like that. And, oh crap, it's jammed. Yeah, sometimes this happens, it gets jammed. And there's a little door us here to go into the elevator. And next, you have the control panel where Obi-Wan in the first Star Wars takes it down and everything goes offline. And now you have the part where Luke and Leia go on the rope and stormtroopers are on the side. And what is it? You got the bars and you can probably see the best view of the down floor. And there's more places to put your troops. Now we'll get on to the third floor. So I'll just take it. Oh crap. Yeah. Um, here we go. So here we have the uh, part from Return of the Jedi where Dark Vader, Luke Skywalker fights. So here's the Emperor's thing. We can always oh, see the Emperor's in it. No, I'm joking. It's the Easter Bunny. And it's got little panels on each side. Yeah. And it's got crates there. And if you're wondering what that is, that's his walking stick. And this trips because if you remember in Return of the Jedi, he falls down and the Emperor falls down there as well. So I like that. Next room is probably a really cool room is the place where, what is it, um, they first came in. So... Pretty much there's nothing, and that elevator goes up here. The control panel there, the elevator ship there, little cart, and an area to put Dark Vader's ship. You can open that, like so. And it's a very cool mini build. Let's call it a mini build. And here, there's a little switch. I'll move the DJ. Yeah, that little clog thing that you can just turn to open the gates. Very neat. And if you might see it, there is a little switch. And here is the laser. And if you're a parent watching this and you're getting it for the, your kids, please note the laser is very delicate. And when they're going to play with it, good choice to take it off so here we have the little guy and the crates and he's controlling the laser now we'll get on to one of my favorite rooms of the whole thing and that's the prison place this place is holding so much fun so you got the little control panels here the lights that you can turn around oh crap I just broke it I'll just put it back on sorry Little control panels right here and here is the little thing where you open and watch this watch the bottom floor you can chuck the minifigs in there 
love it, love the idea of that pun. And you get her Princess Leia's prison cell and a little red button. Like, why is there a red button? But I still think it's pretty neat. Now we'll get on with the top and final floor. So here on the top and final floor, we have Darth Vader's meeting room with all the meaning of the evil bad guys. Pretty much it's just for all of them. But I put the most evil and baddest minifigs I could possibly find. Except that guy, he's not evil. So here we have the room where the, the grey guy we just showed you, he blows up Princess Leia's planet. Or you can put that on where it shows them. And it can open like that. Put it on. And see this thing here? If you turn it, the small one, it goes like that. And if you turn the big one, it goes like that. And yeah, there's another one. Yeah. And here's the droid and Dark Vader testing room. I love this part a lot actually like you go to magnifying glass to fix pieces the stormtrooper hats a room where you can fix it and the pieces of broken droids can go in there and here you can turn the thing and there is the elevator and see the mouse droid here yeah see that little door there that can only be reached by the mouse droid. I've seen a lot of reviews on this set on YouTube, and none of them so far have rules that I've seen has done that. And here we have the final part, and it is of these thingy thing things. And um, how does it work again? Oh, I might have broken it. Oh, no, got it working. So you just turn it. And they're like, tum, 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 and you wind these up so they can go up. So now I'll give you my thoughts. Hey guys, welcome. Now I'll tell you all my thoughts about the set and the instructions. The, the instructions are massive. They even got a binder on them. That's how bloody massive they are. And when you open it, it is massive. Like, look how big those pages are. And look at my palm. That's just nothing on it. And there is. Please come up. Okay. That says 260. Yeah. Yep, there we go, 260. The build is around eight to 16 hours. I completed it in six because I'm so great. And now I'll give you my opinions. The box is bloody big, okay? It's gonna be a pain to keep, but it's very valuable and you should always keep Lego boxes for rare sets. And it comes with mini boxes inside for the parts. Now, to the build. The build is very long but it's probably one of the most funnest builds I have ever had. And if you haven't realized, this is the updated version because of the R2D2. And the build is fun as hell. So for the box and build, I'm giving them the same points is of a no, 95%. Now, the mini fix and the playability in this set is off the roof. I'm talking off the roof. Some of these minifigs you can only get in this set, so that makes it even more rare. For the minifigs and build, no, sorry, minifigs and play ability, I'm giving it a whopping 100% for both of them. So, I hope you like, subscribe, and comment. As I always say, this is Ring Brickmaster5987, Brickmaster.